Alrighty, folks. So guess what I finished finally. All right, well, semi finished. The first floor finished. The, the first half of it finished. The rest of it. That's the other. Ready? Ready? It has a face now. <laughs> this is our monster spawner. <laughs> um, so let me tell you how the face came about. So let me first give you the tour of the inside of the spawner. We're gonna go. Um, I'm I'm just in creative mode, surely for giving you the tour. Nothing. No cheating has been done. I assure you. All right. So. Empty. I'm sure I'm peaceful. Don't want things spawning on me while I'm trying to show you guys these things. What is, why is there a block there? Oh, it's not a block. That's just a block of darkness. Okay. So, um, all all the signs are still there. Whatever. Um, back here, we have water streams. And the reason I put them back here is because, well, um, I noticed that um, some of the monsters when they did fall, they were dying on contact. And so, I wanted there to be a way to, like, if the monsters do, do die just from the fall damage, I can still collect the drops. Because it's going to happen a lot. So I decided to use a stream. And so you can see it's actually beveled out one this way, so that if a monster dies here, it'll still push out the... It'll push out the, um... Items. Also had to get rid of the floor that, that was here, because otherwise it wouldn't happen for the stream. Alright, so, we have the stream... And this pushes out monsters over here. And I actually cheated this little lava pit in. I'm not going to keep this as the way to kill the monsters. I just wanted something to have here. For shits and giggles. Just so I can like, when I turn it on and show you guys. You guys can see how long, what kind of rates you get. But I'm going to, you know. I'm going to fill in this. I like, I, like, I cheated it in, so I'm going to cheat it out later. I'm, I'm going to fill it in with dirt and stuff. Um, there are less trees than there were originally. Obviously, I've, I've been whacking at trees and now there's even less of them which is okay also I, I you know I felt like I don't know I just that chest of wood that we had it was pretty much done and I just removed all that wood so we're, we're down to like zero wood again I felt it was you know proper because I had been flying around creative mode a few times not adding shit just you know flying around seeing shit alright but anyways so I had the streams and I built this little thing to, you know, so that um, inside would still be dark and I was staring at this and I'm like it kinda looks like a mouth we need eyes, and so obsidian and wood, and that became about it. And now we have a little dude that's like our spawner, yo. Yeah, and then back here is where I put the next next bit of water, and then also you can see that um, down here is a little bit of room. Um, so there was another level here which I had to knock out so I could get this going, and so I may turn this little room in here into like a I don't know something. Because down here, there's still this down here is the um, the next part of this where we're gonna do something similar. I'm not sure. We're probably gonna do a mob evader or something. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here, because I could, I guess, have all the items collect at the very, very, very bottom bedrock level. But that kind of doesn't isn't what I want to do. You know, I don't want to have to come down all the way to bedrock to get my items. I want to be up here when I get my items. So I'm gonna probably do a mob evader. But anyways. So this is finally done, this part up anyways, this part down still needs to be done. Um, do note that I haven't actually gone around to um, filling in a lot of the... This chicken is stuck there. Go away chicken, come on chicken, come on, alright whatever. I still haven't gone around to actually um, lighting up as many of the caves as I should have, which is something I really need to do for this to be very 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 effective. But it's still pretty good. Alright, let's turn this on, so you guys can see what kind of rates I got kind of spawn rates. I like the face. It's just awesome. Alright. It's like a big freaking tribal monkey. I don't know. Not monkey as in a monkey, but a monkey is just a general thing. But I guess it could be also a monkey. Alright. Normal. Five, six. Alright. Creeper. Creeper. Spiders. More creepers. More creepers. And so yeah, it's going to seem a little maybe underwhelming currently because I haven't really lit up all the caves yet but it's still I mean it's gonna be a very easy way to get items I just want gunpowder I really want gunpowder so I can start terraforming this land down and making it all flat land which I want I want it to be flat because then I can build stuff on it like the way I figured there's two way to go there's two ways to go around in building stuff in Minecraft you either build and adapt things to the environment which also can be really really cool looking like you know giant tree houses and shit or you do the more like like human approach <laughs> where you just tear everything down and make a flat land and start building your own stuff and it looks both of them both of them have look cool 
So what I've noticed is that when I go from peaceful, oh, let's see. and that's why I put in the uh, streams because that you know when they do die from just falling down there, they'll still pop their items down here. Um, I have noticed that when I go from peaceful to normal, there's that initial surge of enemies being generated, and then there's you know there's a bit of a low because it's all chaos theory trying to get you know wait for them to actually fall down and whatnot. But it actually works pretty cool. There's a nice amount of monsters come in. It's not going to be the best thing until I light up all the caves, but I am going to have enough, um, I am going to have a very, a pretty decent amount of, um, a pretty decent amount of, of what? A pretty decent amount of gunpowder from this, I'm sure. I'll just let it run, and then I'll have a stream drag the goods from somewhere, and then we'll figure something out. But, uh, yeah, so yeah, you can see that a few monsters are dying in the back there. So that's why that stream is there. It should, um, you can see it's coming. And I guess if we wanted to... Yeah. So yeah, I do get, I do, I do get a good amount of items. Uh, now the only thing I need to do is actually implement an actual way to kill these guys properly. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is... I'm going to have them all fall down. Because I have to also account for the fact that there's going to be, like, items flowing in that I have to also deal with. So what I'm thinking of doing is... Um, I'll show you. I had the idea to do this. Um, let's see if I can get more of this fence. So, if you have fences, you kind of just chuck items in there and... Oh, no, no, they don't. Never mind. Okay, I was going to say, you can chuck items in there and it'll um, make the items go through, I guess it won't. What I do think of doing is having this and then having a current go from left to right, and that'll bring all the monsters and items into one spot, and then I can kill the monsters. But I have to also figure out how to, you know, move the items around effic efficiently so that they don't, um, so that I actually still have the items flowing somewhere. Get in there. Get in there. There you go. But yeah, I like it. I like the rates. Alright, so let's actually get out of creative mode. And let's get on to uh, building our actual um, killing mechanism. Yeah, so let me get up here. I'll log off here. Alright. I'll be right back. And we're back. Oh, I still have the stuff in the creative mode. Alright, I need to throw it away. Out. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, you might notice that the lighting looks a little different. Um, I have the smooth lighting turned off. Let me just turn it on. That's the smooth lighting. Smooth lighting turned off kind of looks like back like old, old Minecraft. <laughs> With the blocks and stuff. I kind of like, I, 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 I'm like, I'm digging it for now. I'll, I'll turn it back later, but for now, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. And I was wondering, you know, I, it's, a, it's a slaughterhouse, but... It's, it is very, like, tribal-looking dude over there, doesn't it? doesn't look a little tribally. So, I think there's a thing my mom, my brother calls me a lot. is the Tonka. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I think it's, like, some Indian giant... Whatever. So, I'm, I think I'm going to nickname this the Tatanka. Just because it's a funny name to me. Oh, balls, I forgot to fill that lava in. Damn it, alright. Well, I have... I do have stuff. Let's fill it in with snow. We have snow. <laughs> We have shit tons of snow. How's this growing, by the way? The, the nether wart isn't really growing, which is putting me off. I'm not sure. Well, okay, again, it only grows while you're in here, and I haven't been here in a while, so. Perfect gun to shandle. All right, I need, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need me a shovel. Where am I keeping my snow? Here I am. Yeah. Is my little dude over there still? Yeah. He's still over there. He's still doing his thing. What up, dude? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and turn into peaceful real quick so while we... I know, I don't. I'm, I was going to do this in creative anyway, so I don't feel bad about turning it into peaceful while I do this. It's actually two down, so... Um, snow, 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 snow. Alright. So what I was thinking. Alright, back to normal. 
and so that I don't die horribly while trying to show this to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and put a lip on the thing so that it don't fall on my head while I'm down here working on this stuff. Yeah, there we go. So now even if they do spawn, I don't think any much much of them can get through. I think maybe the spiders might still get through. Let's go. Let's see. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and fill everything up actually. Because I don't want spiders getting through. I don't need things getting pissed off. I do believe there's still enough water in there where if, even if a creeper does explode, it's gonna just negate itself, so that's good. Kind of looks like teeth, I guess, which is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, this is funny looking to me. Alright, I'm gonna need some food though, because I am getting hungry. Virtually, not um, physically. Not uh, not virtually. Where's my food? Shit. Nope, nope. yes, that's it. Get some bread. Okay, so, um. I love these new sounds, man. They're freaking me out. Where are my buckets? Do I have buckets? Bucket, 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 there we are. Alright, we got any buckets, but we're gonna be doing a lot of water. I think so. Alright. So. Here's what I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking we have the dudes fall into here. And. The other dudes fall into here, right? Because it's two by two, so they shouldn't be able to get out easily, which is nice, which is what we want. I should make this all into some um, block skin. I wish it was an easy way to go from uh, inventory to crafting. Like you could shift click like into crafting, you know? Sadly, there's not, but I wish there was. Alright. Can't always get what you want, man. But if you try, if you try some time, you might just not get what you need. All right. So what I'm thinking, I'm gonna make a little bit of a infinite pool around here somewhere, so I can. I don't have to go too far to get it. You can hear zombies and whatnot in there. All right. What I'm thinking is this, right? Water and water, and water. Apparently, it's three wide. I didn't mean for it to be three wide. I meant for it to be two wide. Whatever, three what? I don't care. It doesn't it's not gonna matter much. So water, 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 water. And also we're gonna dig out this this little bit here. And continue to work it out. I don't have I don't happen to have my pickaxe with me. Alright, let's go. Let me go real quick back to our house, grab a pickaxe. We'll probably use a drowning trap because they're the most efficient, I think, in my experience with these things. Also, they're not hard to make, and I have a lot of glass, so I should be using that. What am I looking for? Big X. Yeah, big X. Also, at some point, we need to get on to shaft mining, branch mining, whatever you want to call it, because I am getting low on ores and stuff, and I really want to get start getting into enchanting. <laughs> Just, it looks like he has tiny feet because of the hole there. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Lord. Alrighty. So there's that. You can dig this out. Alright. Dig that out. And now, items will come through here, which is what well, this is fine. Um, what I want, though, is items to start going out that way. This will account for everything. So, how far does this go? Oh, it stops there. Epic. Alright, so let's go this way. We're gonna go through here. I'm going to dig down so that we're actually going to dig down out and back one also. We need to get up here first. Similar to the uh, mob spawner, um, we're going to put the water for this one out a bit so that it doesn't um, have a chance of being like stagnant. So. Testing an item goes there, it flows down through there, which is good. If we put water here, if I put an item there, it should still flow, which is good. Alright. And then this will cause this will cause monsters and items to flow this way, which is what we want. 
and we'll bring this out through here. And you know what? Let's get this right in front of the house. Because why not? The less far we have to go, the better. And so this will come pretty close to the farm, actually. That's pretty good. Do, 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 do. So that'll come out through here. Well, you know, we could want... We do want to be, I think, was it 25 blocks away from this? So if the spawning area is right here, then it's 214. 14 plus 25 to 14 14 and 25 is 39 yeah we're not nearly far enough because we're still too close to it so we're gonna have to again increase the distance um, but now I run the risk of running through one two three four five six seven eight mm, I think I'll run under the farm but that's okay screw it all right so once again let's dig this out I might start running under the farm, but if I can run under the farm and through the, into the house, that'd be pretty cool. I don't want to actually free these fuckers, though. So I have to be careful not to do that. Alright. Let's see, where is water going to end up? So I'll niche that, and I'm just going to use the natural stream so I don't have to get more water. Oh, that ends, that ends there, actually. Alright. That's, that's, not, that's not bad. Alright. Oh, we're still going to need this, though. We're right. I was right. Why don't we make this go towards the house now? I think that'd probably be a good idea. Again, I'm being very careful not to unleash these dudes out into the wild because they are my animals and they will stay there until I deem them worthy of dying for my meat. My meat, their meat. It will kill them. That's what I'm trying to say. Ooh, iron ore. Alright. So, eight this way. Ooh, iron ore. Ooh, more iron ore. Yay! And more iron ore! Bacon strips, bacon strips. Alright. Doop, 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 doop. That goes that way, and then let's go this way. Ooh, more iron ore! <laughs> the wealth that lies beyond our home, homie. It's wealthy. Alright. That's about eight. No? Yes? Nope. Not even close. Not even close. Alright. I think that might this one might be the eighth one. Yeah. And we'll cover this up with glass, this little um, area over here, so it doesn't... Alright, so we're now... Where are we? Where the hell are we? Where are the balls are we? We are... There. We're up here. Alright, so... One... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that brings me right on the doorstep, I think. How far am I from the actual thing? 239. Still not far enough, so yeah, we, we, have, to, we have to bring it over here. We need to bring it in there. And I think we can, if we can probably get it to come inside the house. Somewhere around here. Which is probably what I want. Let's see if this is actually working, though. How it's supposed to. Like, let's see if items will get over here eventually. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go toss a bit of dirt into here. And... Let's see, it's flowing. And then it should end up over there. Let's go take a nap momentarily so that we don't get... Um, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of enemies trying to kill us. Is music on? Why does music never play? I was, I've always wondered, like, it's very random when music plays in this game. Very, very random. Alright. Sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Yay! Waking, waking, waking. Yay! Yeah, so it makes all the way here. Ballin'. Alright, let's go into our house. We're gonna do 8, we're gonna go do 16, which should be pretty good. Probably should get some more water, though, because we do need water, so let's go get some water. Our house being the closest thing. Is this an infinite pool? It is not. I could make it an infinite pool. 
but there's not. So. Oh. And the melons are also ripe again. I was trying to work on a different melon thing, a way to, um... Oh, never mind. On the board. Alright, so, this way. I'm actually running, this one's about to run. This is what this, uh, takes this, uh... What am I holding? What am I holding? This shovel is running low. So, that's not good. It should... It should still... It should manage. Alright, so we're gonna go through here. going to end up around here. Oh, there goes the shovel. So a lot of people are also commenting, um, just generally, not on my channel, but in, in general, that um, the new sounds kind of sound weird. I like them. They're not all bad. Like, the, the fact that, that there's now a sound when... Oh, there's redstone under here. got to be careful. The fact that there's now a sound when, an, uh, when a tool breaks is pretty cool. It's, it's very... I mean, it's not like you didn't notice when the tool broke, because, you know, it fucking broke. But it's cool that it's there. You know, it's a little... Interesting. It's an interesting thing. Alright, so. We go through here. Water and water. And that'll push items into here. And... Um... I'm actually gonna assume... My question being is that, um... When do we... Where in this pa whole pathing thing are we going to start killing the monsters? We could kill them inside of our home. That would be alright with me, but that is a long way for them to travel. I guess not that that matters, not really a big deal. We'll see. We'll figure that out in a second. This may be a long episode, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Depending on how much I want to get done and how much I do. Alright, so this is... Let's say this is here. Let's say if we're going to if we're, if we're do a, a, a mob of Vader... Like a drowning thing, we have to be 4 by 4 Let's see, I'm sure we're inside the house by now. Let's see where we ended up. Hopefully there's no circuitry that I'm going to mess up by doing this. Alright, let's just... Oh, I'm right under a leg. Ha! Oh, damn. Okay, this leads right into the... The snowman, dude. Mm. That's, that's sort of messing with our snow generator. Although this would be a nice place to have it over here, the monster's dying. We could just as just as easily, um, you know, move the snow dude to the right. Let's do that. Let me get some pistons. Let's get a piston. We'll move him over to this corner. That should still work out. Do I have any? I think I think I think I think I think I think I have some sticky pistons. Yeah. Get this and the lever, lever, whatever I want to say. Boop. All right. Uh, we need to push them that way. So, here, that way. Yeah. Nope. Uh, crashed. There you go. There you go. Alright, so now he's centered over there, but he's not actually centered to this right little bit, this little bit over here, so we need to push him. Ah, uh, oh Christ. Alright, we need to knock this out. Knock this out. And then. There we go. And knock that out for a second so that it retracts. Alright, that retracts. I can get my piston back. He should be. Yeah, he's centered over here now. So we're back over here, which is good. Good, 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 good. Uh, get one more snowball. Two more snowballs. Uh, whatever. <laughs> the snowballs make a different sound. Alright. That's done. Let's go fix that little bit of a thing we broke. We need just one redstone. Oh, we have one redstone. Herp -derp. Oh, we did pick it up. That's cool. Alright. Pop that back in there. Get the wood. Finish that up. We good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. And so now, um, so the monsters will come up through here. Now we can either A, kill them here, 
or B, we can kill them at some other point along the path. Which is my question. Is there any... W would there be somewhere... Do we want to kill them in the house? Or do we want to just kill them somewhere out here? And then just have them drop their shit. I think we want to kill them in the house. Because A, it would kind of look cool to see them die in the home. After all the problems they caused me, it's, I think I, I think I want to see them die in the house. So let's let's get working on the drowning trap, and then we're gonna have to um, dig out a little area down here so that I can actually get to the items easy. Um, but that's that's part of the course here. All right. So let's uh, and we're gonna need some ladders eventually. So might as well. I think I think I have leftover ladders in one of these. Yeah. All right. So if the monster's going to be through here, we probably want to have. We can see them come through there. We want to probably have a way to get down into this area. So let's make a little bit of an area that we can have some free space to roam around and down there in case we need to do whatever. So we'll knock out a little bit of the wool. Yeah. I think that'll be good. stone shovel with me in case it's when, for what for when this one breaks, so I don't have to go back up there. Alright. Yeah, this is a nice little area to mess around with. We can, we can keep most of it covered in um, glass, I guess. Actually, I probably, didn't knock, I probably didn't need to knock out all this all of this dungeon brick. I, I can just do what I did with the other one, which is have a uh, trapdoor. We'll do that. Alright, let's knock this out. So, if the killer is going to be here, loot is going to drop into here, which means we have to dig this out one more down, and then bring this out a little bit over. And uh, yeah, this will be good, and then we can collect the stuff here. Okay, and then let's get um, ladders going. We don't need the first one. We don't really need the last one either. Cool. Let's go ahead and put the dungeon brick, stone brick back there, and like so, I need to leave that 2x2 two two space open, alright, there's that, let's get a, oh, I have no wood, don't I, yeah, that's what I get for destroying all of my wood, may still have some trapdoor somewhere, oh, I have some wood, haha, -ha! fuck yeah, trapdoor, is that it, no, is that it, no, is that it, no. Uh, shit. Yes! Yeah! Okay. Pop that down. Cool. And similar to the other one, let's make a little pressure pad so that when I get out of it, I can just close it by just standing on it. So, uh, I don't want to accidentally hit it when I'm opening the doors. So let's go ahead through here. That'll close it and that'll open it. And we need some torches to light that area down there. Got some torches here. Okie dokie, smoky. I'm gonna put a torch there and a torch there. And two there. Why not? Well, let's do the corners. Corners are usually a nice symmetrical thing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need signs again. Specifically. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's fine. Have to mess around with this a little bit. I think once you get up here. Let's see. Have to mess with this a little bit. Let me knock this out, put it on another side. So that it opens on a different side. Thank you. Come here. Give me your thing. Alright. Doop, doop, doop. Yeah, now it'll open that way, so now it won't block me too much. So I get up here, I jump out. Yeah. Okay, I even need some signs. So... Doo -doo -doo. 
How many signs am I gonna need? I'm gonna need a few. I'm gonna need four to get the mobs to go up the drowning, and then I think I'm only I might only actually need four exactly. And I have the water with me, so that's okay. I don't need to worry about that too much. All right, all right, let's get this going. All right, so they're gonna go here, right? So we need a sign. How does this work? We need a sign there and here, or was it here and here? And then the water up there. Which will, yeah. I think we need a sign here and a sign. Put a sign there also, just to stop the. Ah, I don't want writing on him. No writing. All right. Sign there, as well as a sign here. And then the water. And then we're going to want to do this. Okay. And let's start getting... We're going to need glasses now. Where's my... There it is. I haven't seen many Endermen. Like I'll see the occasional one in my house, which is which. Um, someone had a theory of they're hitting the waterfall on the sheep and teleporting around. That's exactly what's happening. So good on you for that theory. It's a good check. It's a good catch. All right. So two two means that uh, we want this to be blocked off. Correct. Yeah. So let's block that off. Very nice. Um. Yep, that'll do it. Although I think um, we should be like this, maybe. And we'll do it one more out. Yeah. So they'll, fill in the, they'll go up there. And, alright, I'm trying to think of how to make this work. So they'll go up here, and then up here they'll, they'll drown, and then stuff is going to happen to them. Because if I put water down here right now, what's going to happen is... Uh, actually, I think they're supposed to be... The signs are off by one, I think. Let's check. I think the signs may be off by just one. Probably are, actually. And we may need more signs than I originally thought. Um, let's get the glass out of the way. Buckets out of the right. Yeah, because if the signs are here, yeah, the signs gonna be here. One sign there, one sign there, one sign here, one sign there. And then we can put the water up here, and that water up there, and we have our upward stream carrying them into this thing, which is good. We're gonna also need to put water in here to here though because you can see there's a bit of like no movement here there's a slight movement I guess there's a slight current here there's no movement at all though. that's the problem so um, water there and water there all right so now we have that going which is a okay it's fine whatever um, the only issue now is that we're going to need to make sure that item's still... Okay, we're going to go down one more level. We're going to down one more level. We still need more signs. We we'll always need more signs. I'm never going to have enough signs ever in my life. Signs are just always going to be me needing more of them. So let's make more of them. Cool, three signs, fantastic. Okay. Yeah. And now we will place these signs as follows. So we don't want water here. I guess that could be simply fixed by doing this. 
so... Oh, oh, okay, he fell in from... He probably just fell into here. From... Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> he, he got caught by the current. Suck my current. Suck it dry. And suck it long. Uh, I need some bread. I'll die. To this. I mean, if, I, in case, if I do die here, it's not the worst thing in the world. Alright, he's dead. Nice, nice. I like that little ding comes with Alright. And also, um, no water there. And no water here. No water down there. No water there. No water there. And we do need one more sign, sadly. And I am out of wood, I think, at this point, completely. Let's see if I had more somewhere. I should, probably shouldn't have thrown all the wood. Up, up, up. I have five wood. Good. Very nice. No wood. I do have bone meal and stuff, so it's not like I can't. It's not like I can't get wood. I don't have that problem yet. I don't, I'm not that old, and I don't need Viagra, so I'm pretty good. I can, I can get wood pretty well. Yep, that was me making a dirty joke for the day. Two, three, four, five. Rawr! Bastards. Okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's examine my house. Which corner of the house doesn't need the wood? <laughs> Currently there. There's just crap on stuff. That's nice. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Why don't we turn this into glass? This little bit right here. Yeah, we can turn this into glass, and that'll save my problems. Because then I have wood. Turn it to glass, you know, it's nicer to see, and all that stuff. That's what I'm going to tell myself to justify myself doing this. Hell, turn that. No, that, that can stay. That can stay as wood. Okay, we have enough wood. Oop. Okie dokie. And so, we has a sign. And with this sign, we will stop that water. Perfect. Very good. And also, we must also stop this from happening. Dunk. A dunka. And now we have that area all nice and neat and no water going to it, which is awesome. So if I were to throw a bit of dirt over there, will fall down into here. It should. And if it does, we're good. Perfect! Fucking perfect! That's amazing! Oh my god! Okay. And now all that's left is to put in a bit of the old... Um... Hmm. Well, I guess... Hmm. We do need those signs there. I'm just trying to... Make sure that nothing can get down here. Alright. And so, we'll have the... Items go in there, and I can just get down into it here. This little crevice, and I can do that. Right, let's get a little bit of water. Actually, no, not a little bit of water. We're going to need a lot of water, because we're going to start having to fill this up and make it the whole, you know, all thingy stuff. Kajinger. All right. Well, let's finish up that little stream. Okie dokie. And let's go back down here. Boom, and boom. So now, water will bring the stuff here. Fantastic. And now all that is left to do is the annoying bit. The very, very annoying bit. The annoying bit of... Oh, this is actually going to... Kind of... I hadn't thought of that, but this, this will actually interfere with my door here a little bit. Just ever so slightly, though. But that's fine, for the sake of this being there. Yeah, we're going to lose a little bit. Actually, if they drown right here, we can keep most of the stuff. Fine. Yeah, we're going to need the corner, thankfully, so that's good. The dude's like, what's going on? Am I getting new friends? No, you're getting more people to die with you. Okay. We can still get up through here, or we can, go, we can decide to go through there if we wanted to, which is pretty good. Yeah, we can just make this a little bit of a ladder. 
That works fine. Okay. So, I want the guys to die in full view of me. So I'm actually going to raise this up. Make the ceiling go there. I don't want to fall into the into this dude's area because well, that's his home. That would be mean. Alright, that's done. And that'll be a little area of drowningness. And we'll come down here for the items. And so begins the very tedious and annoying part of making everything a source block. Like right here. This is not source blocks. Why, how do I know this is not source blocks? Because I'm having a hard time swimming in it. That's basically the only way to check. Is if, you ha if you have a really hard time swimming in it, it is not a source block. Okay. We're going to need, for this, we're going to need quite a bit of water. So let's actually go ahead and make an infinite pool. We're going to remove this. Uh, I'm going to make an inf infinite pool down here. Kadunk. Did that wrong. There you go. Infinite agua. Can I actually just, can I actually jump into this up here? Nope, maybe not. There we can. There we go. Oh, that went fast. Okay. So one there and one there. And water here and water there. That's all nice and source. And water, which is good. Water. Dunk, 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 dunk. See if I can't get up to it. Yeah, I gotta jump up to it. Damn it. Here we go. One there, and one there, and one there, and one there. That's another source block of water happening. Dunk, 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 dunk. Whoop. Getting better at that. Alright. One here. One there. One, two, three. One, two, three more layers, and we're done. And I think we can probably best get more water from up there now, so that's probably the better idea. Some water. Fill in with dirt. Make this make this go work again. Alright. So we go here, we go here, we go through here. I guess I could make this down one level, just so it's easier, I guess. Alright, we'll do that. There you go. Now it's more like the other one. Okay, um, let's go ahead and knock out this bit here, and this as well, bonk, 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 and bonk, more awa, shunk, 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 a little bit of glass, one, two, three, four, yep, and the last one, which we'll do from the top, one, two, three, four. Make sure that didn't. Ah, ah, well, ah, ah. Oop, 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 yep, yep, yep. Damn it, damn it. Yay! Alright. One, two, three, and finished. Okay, and that should do it. So, let's go ahead and. Oh, it is a normal. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot it wasn't normal. Okay. Oh, you know what we need to do is we need to fill that uh, crevice in so that monsters don't... Act. Well, I guess if they go in there, I want them. It's okay, actually. Actually, let's leave that alone as it is, because if monsters do spawn in here and then go in there, that's perfectly fine with me. I do want to protect that bit of redstone, though, so... Go ahead and cover that little bit up with glass. And so if a monster falls in here, for whatever reason it might want to fall in there, or it might not want to fall in there properly, more more likely, we can be fine. And I know there's stuff in here, like I can see stuff. Look at that. It's not going to be an easy way to... Do 
This is not gonna be fun opening this up. <laughs> I can see them all there. It's like a little party of just things that want to hurt me. That's good. I think if we could do it from above, we might be able to get out a little bit safer. <laughs> oh, I've never seen so many things that want to kill me. It's like a, just a little, little conga line of death. Alright, I'm gonna go through here. And those snowballs will eventually get back to me. Ah! Okay. And there they go. There's actually quite a few of them in there, I guess, waiting, waiting their doom. I don't want to go down there, because they will see me, and they will shoot me. So... <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. They've, they've already seen me. Get in the house. Get in the house now. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> there is no problem at all. So, here come the snowballs, and here come them. Actually, I should probably make the uh, collection bit here. Yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this area into snow because why not? I don't think snow melts. And actually. We should probably make this a half slab, because that way I can just step on it and actually get the stuff. So, let's get, uh, blah, blah, blah. can we make half slabs out of cobblestone yet? No, we cannot. Okay. We can see things dying in here, though, which is pretty cool. There's one thing in there, and there's a cow over there. Wasn't there a large amount of stuff over there, though? That was kind of, I guess it hasn't made its way over here, or maybe they're too smart, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Uh, I need something to make half slabs out of. I can't do glass, sadly. Pressure plates? No. It does, it does need to be a half slab, otherwise it can't jump out of it. Um, do I have any clean stone? I don't. Alright, let's make some clean stone. Okay, yes. What's half slabs? Two? Just two of them, right? Or is it three? I think it might be three. Oh, there's iron here. Why is there iron in here? Oh, right, I love the cooking. Yeah, we have iron! Oh, I'm always glad to find things that I know I had, but I didn't know before. Iron! Sweet, sweet iron. I think there was iron in one of these. Yeah, let's not confuse ourselves. Put it back into this one. This one. Yeah. One, two. There should be more things dying to here. D don't know why they're not. I think maybe they're fighting the current, because they've seen me. I'll have to figure out why in a second. We're coming. Where's the clean stone happening there? Shunk, dunk, dunk. Stone slab. Gracias. Okay, get down in here. I mean, there should be a lot more stuff. I'm dying. Oh, and I can't jump up. To, I cannot jump up to there. Is my issue. All right. Well, this becomes normal. I think I can jump up through. I cannot, I cannot jump to the ladder either. <laughs> ah, that's fine. I can do this. A little bit of skill test. <laughs> okay. So that's all said and done. I should make these into snow blocks because they've taken up a lot of my inventory the way they are now. Gotta love even numbers. Let's head outside and see what's happening. Yeah, they're fault. They're going in there, and they're coming up. Some of them, some of them are coming up. Not all of them. The snowman hasn't moved, which is good. Okay, they're, they're coming up. I think they're coming. Up. I think maybe they were just stuck over there, like they had seen me and they wanted to come and get me. That's probably it. And while I do like the idea of random monsters falling in there and dying, it's gonna be nighttime. 
think I'd rather have this, like, because having them, having that pit open like that is just going to give them shots at me, which is not good. So I think we're going to have to just go ahead and um, fill it up all with glass. And I think that I'll be, I'm okay. Ah, it's probably, I was, it was bound to happen, I knew it was going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and make that happen. I should probably do it at night, actually, because at night there'll be less, uh, less things down here trying to kill me. Right now, there's quite a few things in. Oh, shh, that's what, there's quite a few things in there that want me dead. So, if I could just. Ah! And there's a party now. There's now a party. Okay. <laughs> it's funny seeing them come out of their his mouth, though. I'll tell you that right now. I haven't gotten a lot of spiders. I just saw one over there, which is not uh, good for my nerves. Spiders can and will, and will and will and will climb and kill me. Get off of me. No, you don't. No, you don't. You will not kill me. You will kill me. Ah, you'll kill me. Ah. <laughs> Suck it. Suck it. Suck it long. Suck it hard. I'm not trying to, I'm trying to eat. I'm not flip that rapidly. Alright. So, I'm, I could take a few hits of something for sure. So, in my mind, doing this at night is better than doing it in the day, because in the night, um, I get less spawns. It gives me a little bit of an easier time to fix, finish this up here. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Bang. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Alright, there we go. Yay! Yay. So they can see me now, but they won't actually try to get me to me, because they know they cannot. Um, I hadn't actually thought about it, but I probably don't want this all to just open like that, because then I can't really get into here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just uh, fill this in, like so. Make a little passageway for myself so I can actually get inside of here if I wanted to. remind myself to get at this from the end. I think... Mm. Yeah, I think we'll just... We'll just that'll, that'll be fine. I think then we, can, then we can just approach it from the left or the right, and all is well. Alright. And there we go. Our mob spawner is semi-done. I still have to do the bottom half, you know, the one that goes from dirt to bedrock, but I think for now I'm quite happy with it. Let's go ahead and take a nap, get some light, and see how this goes. Please ignore my mom speaking Spanish, because that's going to happen. Also, let me go ahead and turn the smooth lighting on. I'm getting tired of the old lighting. Ah, okay. I really like the way it looks, though. I never had it just be a mouth and, and, and some eyeballs. It's pretty cool to me. All right. Let's go ahead and get down. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, so it's all opened now, and I think we can actually, an unforeseen awesomeness of this, is we can actually get a view of the mouth from over here. So potentially we can just kind of scope out, we can step on the stuff over here. Netherward hasn't grown, and I'm worried as to why not. I don't know, maybe maybe you can't grow it in the overworld. Maybe it needs less light, I'm not sure. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that later. You see the eyeballs, and then you see the mouth. Which is essentially just spitting out enemies at me, which is pretty cool. And eventually they'll get over here, and start dying. Trying to see if there's any currently over here. I picked some stuff up. Let's see. We got 16 gunpowder. Pretty, pretty decent. Pretty good. Better than what I've had. So now we do have at least some. Uh, we can make some TNT right now. Actually, let's go do that. It's been a while. We actually, I don't think we actually have made TNT yet in this map. So it's time that 
that was changed. Where is my sand? I know I have sand. Did I make all of my sand into glass? This is also a very distinct possibility because it is something I might do and probably have not done. There's sand! Fuck it. What is TNT? This way? Is it an X of sand and then the TNT? No, it's the next of TNT and then the sand. Gotcha. Yeah, that was it. Alright. Let's divvy this up. Divvy up the TNT a bit. Yeah! We have tent. Fear my tent. Uh, right. Got horribly distracted for a second there. Oh, I was doing TNT. Okay. At least I think I was. So, um, yeah, let's go do that. We now have TNT. Let's go start leveling the world. There's a few creepers and stuff around there. Which I'm not too excited about, but, you know, whatever now. Okay, have to be careful those dudes. Alright, let's, uh, let's see. Let's get around over here. I'm trying to get around my own freaking dimension. Ah. Alright, I want to get rid of this area. This wall over here. I don't know why I had to do it in such a roundabout way, but I want to get rid of this. So, let's, uh, let's do, like, a 360 explosion. Let's go from here. In there, and we'll put the lever here, that there, and one more TNT here, and then um, I need to get out quickly. Simply put, kajunk, and I'll run away. And that, folks, is far easier to do than digging all this area out. That is awesome. Very, very nicely done. I didn't go under, I didn't go over. I'm looking forward to leveling the world with shit tons of TNT. Alright, folks, thanks for bearing with me. This is finally done-ish enough for now. I'm not sure what our next project is going to be. Probably something involving snow. Because I have a lot of it. And, you know. Yeah. So snow. This still doesn't work. Like, I wanted it to hold the items here. I mean, if we're going to have stuff, we might as well have, like, pressure plates. Which do um, let the items go through it, but not the water. Let's go ahead and make these pressure plates, because... That'd make more sense to me. <coughs> right. So, um, we need some pressure pads. Um, I need I need wood for that. I'm out of wood, sadly. <coughs> right. Sorry. Cuts, cuts, and more cuts. Alright. We do need a little bit of wood, so we need to go out and get one last bit of wood, and then we can call it a video. Which is actually going to be a pretty, pretty trekkable journey now that I've you know, destroyed so much of the agriculture in this area, as it is. Ooh. There we go. Wood makes wood. Makes... Okay, and that is done. So many interruptions! Ah, my family! Okay, wood!
pressure plates. Have them. Put them. End the video. It's gone on too long. It's gone on for- am I- I'm not on peaceful, right? It is this- they are dying. They are getting there. Right? I am? Okay, whatever. Pressure plates. Get down here. Yeah, they're dying. Okay. One there, one there. Bam. Alright. Done. Thank God. Alright, folks. I hope this, uh, tides you over. Because quite possibly the next few weeks I might not put up a video. You know, finals and whatnot. But, uh, thank you guys for sticking with me. And watching my stuff. And, oh, look. Oh, look. Right here. They can't get through. I knew there was something weird about this. I, I fucking knew it. Alright. I freaking knew it. I knew that I was missing something. Okay. This is... Come on, get through. You, you, they can't get through there. They're just being fickle about this. Get in there. There you go. Ow. I knew something was happening. I knew something was going wrong. Ah, that, that spider's just going to be annoying. <laughs> it's also kind of cool because they get a little bit of fire. They come out of the map, so it's kind of interesting to watch that happen. Alright, well that's just the spider messing with them, so I can't really do much to help that. Alright, we'll just bring this up all one. Basically, I want enough room where even if the spider's up here, they can still flow under it. Which they seem to be almost able to do. Get down. There we go. Much better. I was wondering why I wasn't seeing all these fools coming down here. Alright, and then they go this way, and they go through there. And now this works fine. Now we have nice amounts of these fuckers. Of these old fools. Up you go. Up you go. There you go. And there is like no hit detection when they go when they're swimming up, which is good. <laughs> Give unto me your loots. Give me all of your loots. I love it. Oh, that's it's, it's increased significantly. I'm a happy. I am a happy person. I am a happy person. Will this spider come to get me? Nope. He's, he's like trying to, he's, he's doing something. That's the beauty of the design, is I can get up in here and then come out here! And if, and if we still insist on refusing to die, I'll come out here! Come on, come on, what you got, what you got, spider? What you got, spidey? Come on, come on, Kermit the Frog, oh yeah. Alright, folks, thank you guys for watching. I'm happy to have this done. And I will see you folks in the uh, next video. Peace.